Welcome to this tutorial on how to create a piece of artwork in response to the artist Marcello Monreal. Um, you join me as I have already taken a photo and opened it up in Photopia and I've taken the background away, usual way, polygonal lasso tool, click around the portrait and around the outline and then press delete. So my photo is ready to work with. I've also opened up a piece of Marcello Monreal's work because I really like the background colour in this one, so I'm going to use that later. You'll also see I have Googled um, a whole load of flowers. In fact, I Googled flower on white background um, and save those and open them up in Photopia. And for every one of them, bar this one, which I'm showing you now, I have magic wanded um, the background hence me asking for flowers on a white background. So I could easily magic wand them, press delete, and I've done that for all the photos. So all the flowers are ready without backgrounds. Okay, um, Monreal's work is a little bit more saturated than mine. So I want to, before I begin, just go to image adjustments and brightness contrast. And just move that so you can see. And I'm upping my contrast just a little bit. And then I'm going to go image adjustments um, and I'm going to change the saturation a bit. Um, obviously you don't need to do this if you've got an image that you feel is saturated enough, but um, I'm just having a go at making sure I can get it as close to a piece of Monreal's work as I can. Okay, right. I'm happy with that. Now I've got to cut out a section of my face to be that bit that is um, kind of coming out in front of the flowers. So I'm going to zoom in first. I like to work close up so I can see everything. And then I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool and very carefully uh, click ground the area that I want to be the mask. Okay. And obviously the closer you click together, the smoother the line's going to be. So take your time over this. And then I'm kind of avoiding my beard, so I've gone um, above my nose. Oops, oops, I always triple click rather than double click, so I've just gone to undo. There it is, and I've control C, control V, so it becomes its own layer. You can see I've just made the other layer invisible so you can see that it is its own layer. And now I can use the arrow tool to just move it into position so it's away from the face. And this is where I start to grab the flowers. So rectangular masking tool, control C, control V. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, so I'm just going to Reduce it in size. Obviously, if you press shift, it will maintain its proportions without getting squished or stretched. And then I'm spinning it around so that it looks like it should be. And then, obviously, I want it below that mask. So I've taken it and dropped the layer underneath. Okay. Next flower. Get that masking right, there we go. Control C, Control V. And again, moving it into position, spinning it into a direction that I want it to be. Choose another flower. Mask it off. You get the idea. Control C, Control V. Okay, right, okay, I've sped the recording up just a little bit um, so that this doesn't take forever. But I do, rather than cut away and come back at a later point, I think it's better that you see everything that I'm doing um, in terms of layering. You can see that I'm dropping things behind other things um, thinking about the colours of the flowers in terms of where they get positioned. I don't want 
all flowers of the same colour to be together. And I'm also thinking about the kind of sizing and the direction that the flowers are pointing. Okay, um, I've tried to get a good variety of different flowers um, in the mix, um, but it's completely up to you. Um, depends which piece of work you want to respond to of Marcello Monreal's. So obviously they are all different. And it might be that you prefer one over others. Um, another thing that you might want to do at a point is to start copying and pasting um, the same flowers again. So you might take a flower you've got, right click on the layer, duplicate it, and add it somewhere else. Um, so that you've got more than one of the same flower. Um, obviously I wouldn't put them together, I'd spread them out, but there's no real reason why you shouldn't have more than one of the same flower in this piece, rather than having to get completely different flowers for every single flower. Okay, you can constantly play with positioning, thinking about where you want things to be. It's the beauty of Photopia, the idea that you've got layers that can move around independently and be um, placed above and below each other. I like the idea of this one poking out a bit. So again, that's something to think about. Where can you put particular flowers so that they work? Okay. So this ends the first part of this tutorial. I'll see you again in part two.